<laughs> I just fell in love with the car all over again. What's going on you guys? Welcome back to channel Anderson and welcome to today's video. We are here in my manual swap C55. The C55 you guys know so well that have been on this channel for a long time. 2005 silver. It's uh, got a lot of work that I put into it. And anyways, uh, Josh from Mercedes Swap Shop. You guys know Mercedes Swap Shop does all the tuning on all my cars. And he just recently sent me a new tune actually last night uh, for the C55. It's the newest NA55 tune that he has. and. It's incredible, so I wanted to make a video just showing uh, kind of how the car is driving right now. You guys know if you've been following along recently, I just got this thing kind of back up and running, so to speak. It sat for like two months and it just wasn't very happy when I got it back up to snuff, but uh, filled up air in the tires. You'd be amazed how much better your car drives when it doesn't have 12 PSI and 19 PSI in the front tires. So uh, the tires are all aired up now. That made it feel a lot better. Uh, and I've done a bunch of other things, gone through the uh, what's called intake setup and just topped off all fluids, etc. Just made sure everything's good and been trying to drive it a lot to get it back to the speed. But silly enough, I had messaged Josh about like asking about a few mods that I wanted to do to squeeze out, you know, 10 to 50 more horsepower out of this car. And he said, yeah, you can do those things, 1% change or so, but uh, I got a new tune that will do that power for you, no problem. So. I was like, okay, let's see. And then I went for a drive yesterday and I was laughing the whole time I was driving because it definitely squeezed out, I think about that much more power and the power delivery feels very, very smooth on these newer tunes. He is able to uh, basically remove the torque limits or greatly uh, reduce the torque limits. And you can just tell the power delivery, especially for uh, the manual in here, like first and second gear, it feels so smooth. Even if you're ripping the tires, like it feels, really smooth and uh, just feels good. So I'm gonna take you guys for a ride, let this thing warm up a little bit more and I'll uh, catch up with you guys from here. All right guys, we're on the road, car is warmed up. I'll try to do as much spirited driving as I can. However, it is traffic time and uh, if you hear things flopping around, it's cause I got a couple boxes in the car with parts in them, so. Hopefully it doesn't bother you too much. Also, if you guys watched Wednesday's video, you saw that I uh, <laughs> was gonna have that video for Wednesday, but my battery decided to die at work. So, we're doing it on the way home from work. Yeah, this thing definitely picked up some power. It feels so good, dude. I, I like, I text Josh after he sent me the tune yesterday, after I took it out for a drive, and I was just like, dude, <laughs> I just fell in love with the car all over again. It feels so peppy and so smooth. I don't think uh, there's any doubt from my butt dyno senses that we uh, got close to that 10 to 15 horsepower number. It is 
a little rainy out right now, so that's why we're kind of slipping and sliding more than usual, but it makes for a little bit of a fun drive, so. see it which probably sounds weird to you because it looks great to you probably but to the left of me it looks beautiful right now yeah I'm just spinning <laughs> oh man feels good spinning though One issue you guys will see, this this is not from the tune, this was happening before the tune after I brought it back from sitting for two months. It'll do that weird rev hang, um, kind of like hit and miss when it does it, but it'll rev to like 1200 and just kind of sit there when I'm coming down to an idle or I'm slowing down. And then once I slow down all the way, like watch, we'll see if it does it. No, it didn't do it. When I slow down all the way and I get all the way on the brakes and stop, then it will go da back down to 600 RPM like it normally should. But it's definitely not what it's supposed to be doing. It's supposed to go right back down to 600, like just evenly, but it'll kind of go down. It'll fluctuate back up to 1200. So I'm not sure what that is right now. Um, I've gone through, like I said, I went through the intake yesterday and cleaned out the math. Um, Checked all the fluids, and I don't know, I've tried it. I've been trying to drive it pretty much every day to try to clear it out, but for some reason it's still doing that. So no codes, no anything. I've checked it on DOS, no vacuum leaks apparent, but there's two things that I've changed between driving it now and before it sat. Number one, is I integrated the bigger port from the valve cover on the driver's side uh, to the catch can setup. So that's one variable into the mix. And then I also, I don't know when this was happening, but, uh, or when I left it unplugged, but my intake manifold, the little vacuum that controls the swirl flaps, it wasn't plugged in. I don't know how long that wasn't plugged in before, but I'm assuming for quite a while, and I plugged it in. And that's also when I started driving the car again, I noticed that, so two variables. So I guess at this point, I kinda need to test both of those. So I'll plan to drive again with that intake manifold thing unplugged, see if that idling issue goes away. And then if that doesn't do it, I'll plug that back in, and then I will, reroute the intake manifold or I mean the uh, oil catch can with how it was before and leave the bigger one as a breather port again so I don't know strange I still haven't taken it on the freeway you know for like 80 plus for a while to give it like a true Italian tune-up I've just been kind of driving it hard in first second third um, 
but definitely not a normal thing with that idle. So I don't know. I'll keep you guys posted on that if I find anything out between now and the time you guys see this. But yeah, overall, I mean, the car drives so good and the tune is so freaking good. So if you guys have a 55 NA or even the, the uh, M112 NAs, whatever, or 32s, whatever you got, definitely hit up Josh because he has new tunes for all of them. The newest version of his tunes for everything pretty much. So the CLK55 got this tune before the C55 did, and then now the C55 has it, and it's just amazing. about the fun ending right there I will catch you guys back at home we're kind of out of the fun roads to do before I'm back home so catch you in a second all right you guys back home now got the CLK and the Mars Red in the garage just taking a look at things I want to tighten down it's been a while since we've done the kangaroos teams uh, camber plates up here and just from everything settling in I've driven hard so many times I want to go ahead and do a re-tighten on this just check everything um, some of you guys asked me about it. They've been doing great to be honest um, But I do notice like a little bit of creaking I just did right now um, Pulling into the driveway just a tiny bit of creaking um, So I want to just double check everything is tight um, But as far as the dampers go everything looks good. There's no like oil leaks or anything like that uh, something I do want to do for this car is I want to separate the clutch um, and give it its own reservoir um, I've learned that from the E420. I just feel like it's a little bit better um, having it into its own separate reservoir. So I'll be doing that, uh, completing on this manual swap. Um, and like I said, I went through all this yesterday, made sure all the clamps were tight. I cleaned out the MAF, added a little bit of oil, checked the power steering. Um, all these lines are fine. This right here is the clip that was um, undone before. So I think I'm going to leave this unplugged and I'm going to see how it does on the next drive and see if it does any of that weird idling stuff, which I don't know. It shouldn't. I mean, oh, that's hot. I can tell it's definitely moving. It's working. You can hear it inside, but for whatever reason, that could be part of the issue uh, or maybe because it was unplugged so long, maybe it needs to resync or need to do something in DOS to get it to resync, but only other thing besides that was, like I said, this big port back here, I attached in line with our uh, vacuum tubes for our catch can. So, I mean, that could really, that's the only two things I've changed since I stopped uh, driving it. Oop, what is going on there? What do I hear right now? That must be from the, oh yeah, it's from the drains right there. The water's dripping down straight onto the exhaust. Sounds like steaming, boiling water. Anyways, um, yeah guys, that is about it. Uh, besides that, everything else has pretty much stayed the same. Um, all of our little pieces back here are still on fine. So I don't see why any of those would be an issue. And everything else is, yeah, just the same, so. I will keep you guys posted if uh, those make any changes to my drive here. Um, fuel pressure has been great on it. I think it's been basically right at like 60 when it's running, which is really good for an NA55. Um, typically they're a little bit lower, so very good there. Um, but I do want to go through the fuel system at some point uh, just to freshen things up and put an upgraded pump in it. Uh, just because I feel like it'd be worthwhile doing at this point 160,000 miles on this thing now, which is crazy. I think I got it with 120 something thousand and I've had it for probably coming up close on seven years now, which is also crazy to think about. It's been an awesome, awesome car. Um, definitely, I don't know, it's lived up to all the hype and way more than when I got it, when I got it, I didn't even know how capable of a car it was. 
and it just proves and proves and proves again how good these cars are to me every time I take it out and get to drive it and having gotten to use it as a daily again in the past you know week and a half has been a lot of fun nostalgic so anyways I'm gonna tighten these up a little bit just make sure everything is good and uh, check back with you guys all right you guys just tightened up my suspension uh, a few of these were I mean they were already pretty tight but I tightened them down good good and then our big 21 uh, millimeter nuts that are holding down the actual strut uh, this side felt a little bit loose this side is maybe a little bit as well so I just kind of cranked everything down got it all reset to where it was before uh, the camber bolts did not move at all and they're still super solid uh, what I need to do is next is I don't know why I didn't do it when we had everything cut out but I need to just go in here clean everything up and give this thing a coat of paint none of it's like rusted or anything which is good uh, but it's just all gross and grimy from dirt and everything getting in it so um, I need to go and just wire brush scuff all that up and spray it with some paint just to prevent any corrosion uh, in the future um, possibly happening so yeah that's about it I will probably update you guys in the comments if either one of those two variables change my weird idling issue or if you guys you know have any uh, thoughts on what that could be something that I'm not looking into um, that's about it though it is uh, running good I'm very happy with it and if you need anything tuning related I would definitely hit up Josh at Mercedes Swap Shop He's got your back and yeah, I can't say enough good things about all the tunes and all the experience I've had working with him on all the cars at this point. Uh, I'm excited. This has an older tune that was on this uh, before similar, you know, tune. I'm going to have to get the update for this as well. So that'll be ready once this thing is ready for its first journey, but should be coming up soon. Hopefully that said, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys enjoying going on a little rip with me and, uh, Stay tuned. I'll see you guys on Monday. Peace.